falling on my head And just like the guy who's feet up too big for him Hey guys, Tom here again today for Shifter, a channel all about urban cycling and bike commuting. We're in the midst of a rainy period. We don't get a whole lot of rain, but when we do, my attitude in the past has always been just to power through it. So I thought it's probably time to start thinking about how to ride better day to day in an urban transportation kind of way through the rain. So that's what the, today's mission is. The big question about riding your bike in the rain has always been, what do you wear? So I'm gonna try a few things as come along with me on this little wet journey. That sounds weird. And we'll figure out the best things to wear. So my first thing is this really light sort of water resistant jacket. It's not totally waterproof. So the other day I did have this on. I did get a little bit wet still underneath it, but it wasn't terrible. One thing I did notice is that when I put the hood up on this, it doesn't have any straps. So when I was riding, the wind sort of picked it up and pulled it off my head, which is not that useful. So my head didn't get wet. So this is stage one and I've already found it a little bit wanting. Okay, so I've learned a couple things already. Wearing that uh, jacket I had in the last shot, I was out this morning and I got totally drenched. That thing is barely water resistant. So I've upgraded already. What I've got now is a Gore-Tex jacket. It's somewhat breathable, but completely waterproof. I'm gonna ride a bit in the rain and see how the Gore-Tex jacket does. Oh, also one other thing I did having learned this morning, this is my Priority Continuum Onyx and it's got fenders. This is a great jacket. Maybe not perfect in this situation. For one thing, it's not that long, so my legs are getting wet. As you pedal, your knees come up and it sort of comes out of the jacket and that's not ideal. Also, it's hot, so it's not perfect. So you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm going to the internet. I'm gonna ask on Twitter and on the YouTube community tab if you guys have any thoughts. See what I can learn. Ashley says rain is fun, agreed. And old fashioned rubber overshoes. Ivan says pedal faster than the raindrops. Bring an extra outfit to stay dry where you arrive. From someone in a tropical country, Indonesia, who says, if you wear a raincoat, your, bottle, your body will get very wet with your own sweat. Elise says she wears her Chelsea boots. Yeah, that works. So a couple of people have suggested rain pants. So if you've got the combination of rain pants, raincoat, and some waterproof feet, you're pretty much covered, I think. I just find the problem with rain pants, two things, is they make you hot again. And also, I don't want to arrive at my destination and have to like take pants off. I mean, what if you're going to the pub or to the grocery store and you have to strip some pants off? That's just weird. Alex says, I used to work in a bike shop and I would bike to work in sundresses and skirts in the rain. I don't have a lot of experience in this area, but I assume a sundress and a skirt would drive it quicker. And then here's some advice from Michelle, who runs a great uh, YouTube channel called Ride On Cycling out of the UK. You should totally follow her. I learn a lot from her. She says she's been testing out the Turcano Urbano rain cape. She's got good things to say about that. What I'm hearing from a lot of people is that poncho might be the way to go. Lots of people are saying rain capes or rain ponchos. Michelle is recommending them here as well. Looking at all this advice, I'm hearing a lot of people talk about a cycling specific poncho. So I like this idea of a poncho. Yeah, maybe I should give it a try. More rain, so I'm back again. And thank you everyone for those amazing suggestions. After all of the research I've done and all of those great conversations, I've come to a conclusion is that there was no consensus. But what seems to be the case is that a lot of people who have experience in the rain more so than me, say the way to go is the venerable poncho. So I thought I would try out a poncho this time. So I've been looking for one for days. I've not found a great poncho, but I do have a poncho. What I have right now is this poncho. Waterproof vinyl hood, rain poncho. It's kind of like one of those one-time use only, you know, ponchos you take, I don't know, to camping or the football game or something, but it's a poncho. So let's give it a shot. Wow, they sure look happy. Oh man, it's like a garbage bag. I mean, it's kind of like how it is, right? It's like how it is really clothing. There you go, you've got the poncho. All right, the pros and cons of this poncho on first impressions, I've had it on for all of 10 seconds and uh, I can think of a lot of cons, not a lot of pros. Pros, I'm, I'm, it's keeping me dry. It does go down lower than my jacket, so it should do a better job keeping my legs dry, but also it's so thin, it's definitely one time use only. It's like totally unbreathable. I'm already sweating and I haven't even started riding my bike yet. So I'm skeptical, but you know, I'm here for you. I'm gonna give this poncho a real try. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. I, 
didn't have to ride that poncho for long. Also, rainbow. Anyway, this poncho is terrible. As soon as I put my leg over the seat, it tore at the bottom. Couldn't keep the hood up, it kept blowing off. These kept blowing up on my arms. Hot and sweaty and sticky. I look like a used condom. So it's not great. There's not a lot of good things to say about this poncho. However, it did give me the sense that poncho might be the way to go. Take this one off, throw it in the garbage, and probably never use it again. And apologize to the world for one-time use of plastics. Do not buy one of these. Uh, they are no good. I'm gonna do some research now on getting a proper poncho built for cycling, and see what I can find, and then we'll give the poncho its real test. I gotta go get rid of this thing. Okay, so after the fiasco of that cheap plastic poncho, I went back to the drawing board and tried to find a quality poncho. And thanks to some of your great suggestions, uh, thanks so much everyone for sharing and for some research. In the poncho world, there are two clear leaders. There is Cleverhood, which is an American company that makes a great cycling poncho. And there is the People's Poncho, which is a British company, which also makes a great cycling poncho or a cycling cape, whichever you prefer. Cape sounds a bit Darth vader -y for me, and it's fun to say poncho, so I call it the poncho. So I would say I haven't tried those, but uh, by all accounts, those are great brands if you want to go for those. Because we're in the midst of a pandemic and all of the associated terribleness that comes with that, I was trying to shop a bit local, so I didn't want to order from the States or from the UK. I had no luck finding a lot in Canada, except for this one. I did find a Canadian one, which is called Vod. Vod? Vod? I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. It's a brand out of Quebec, an outdoor brand, and they have a cycling poncho. This poncho is great. They seem to have thought of everything. On my hood, it's got a drawstring, so it'll stay on my head, it won't fly off. It's even got these little windows on the side to maintain my, my peripheral vision when I'm riding. Inside, you probably can't see, it's got these uh, thumb loops, or maybe full hand loops, so that when you go over your handlebars, you can uh, hold the poncho in place. It's got a waist strap so that it doesn't flap too much behind you. It's even got armholes. For those of us who talk with their hands, uh, that'll probably give you a little ventilation as well. And it's got a pocket up front here. So all in all, I am quite impressed. This is a well-designed, uh, well-built poncho for a decent price. And um, now I just need it to rain. Anyway, even if it doesn't rain, I feel totally confident in this poncho. It's gonna get me through the next rainstorm. So I think I've answered the question I set out to answer when we started this, which was how do you survive the rain on a bike? And thanks to all of you for all of your help. I'm saying the poncho is the answer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah! The poncho works.